They say that when you're about to die, your whole life flashes before your eyes. Well, that may be true for some, but I'm going to tell you in my particular case, that's not true. My entire life did not flash before my eyes. It was only the things that I had not done. The things that I wanted to do, the things that were still on my plate, the things that I had planned to do, the things I had mapped out on my to-do list. That is what flashed before my eyes. And an urgency like you cannot experience while you're alive. This urgency was like no other because it carried with it finality. This is it. There is no tomorrow. There is no future. Everything has come to an end right now. Abruptly cut short. I often see my donor in my mind. And I often see her making plans for the future. I often see her calling up her daughter, saying, baby, let's have lunch this weekend. I often see her telling her husband, I'll see you when you get home from work this evening. And I imagine her being alone in a home with no one else around and realizing that she was dying. That is a finality that the living cannot experience. The pressure. And I guess I'm telling you this because I want you to realize how utterly crazy it is to be so upset, to be so mad at many of your lifelong friends and neighbors because they don't share your same political views, your same religious views. They're different from yours. So because they're different, you are willing to go to your grave holding on to your hatred. Don't wait until your life is flashing before your eyes. Don't wait to give that apology. Don't wait to forgive until your life is flashing before your eyes. Don't plan to do it sometime. Because sometime never comes.